When Per Olaf Kippel pedals through the town of Tomelila in southern Sweden, his high-wheeled bicycle is a real eye-catcher. For Kippel, there's nothing quite like riding with his head almost in the clouds. I love those bikes. They are just amazing to ride. It's freedom feeling. It's a mixture of fear, speed, passion, love, madness and joy. In 2013, Kippel decided to start building high wheelers himself. His models aren't copies of historical models, but modern versions. A standard high wheel costs 1,500 euros and up. It's really an icon. It's iconic design of a bicycle. The simplicity. I'm an architect myself, and I'm, I really, really like the simple design, the function. The function gives the design. A simple design, functionality, and high quality. That's what Per Olaf Kippel's high wheels stand for. But when it comes to practicality, he is willing to make a few compromises. It's not practical at all. You have uh, no gears, normally no brakes. You can put on a brake, but uh, on this bike there is no brake either. Um, if something interrupts you on the road, you cannot just put down the feet and stop. You have to jump off. So, practical. Uh, there are no practical reasons. There are other reasons, and that's the 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 reason for having fun. Fun is the primary criterion for the members of the Berlin Historical Bicycle Club as well. They meet regularly for a ride in the countryside on their old, sometimes historical bicycles. Most of these bicycles date from the first half of the 20th century. To round out the picture, club members like to dress in period costume, like 1930s outfits or knickerbockers. I like the aesthetic of the old bicycles more than the new ones. I'm always surprised at how well the old bicycles ride. New bikes are boring, so I started going for the old ones. They know how to ride, just a little riskier to stop on. For Ulrich Feig, old bicycles are not just a passion, they're also a vocation. He's a bicycle dealer, and his museum shop in Berlin's Spandau district is an outlet for historical replacement parts. Business is booming. More and more young people are interested in old bicycles. So demand has increased. And if you look at eBay, you'll see totally outlandish prices. Just complete absurdity. The feeling of riding a special bicycle, one with patina instead of modern technology, for many cyclists, including Per Olaf Kippel, that is the biggest appeal. In this time, when everything you do is so prepared, it's arranged, you're connected, there are safety belts all over, in all occasions, you need something which is not that's safe, which is, which is, uh, which includes the unexpected and uh, which is very analog. 